I, I'm enjoying this so much. I love doing Dude. this. Do you know what I mean? Like right. it's 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 nerve wracking, but once you've done it, I feel it's, it's such a good accomplishment. Just knowing that you've completed your first roundabout, or like when we done when you put me under the pressure with that the UK's biggest roundabout. And I was like, oh my God, I'm never doing this. But then Scott eased me and was like, just do it. You'll be fine. And I've done it. You did it. We're sorted, apparently. <laughs> Ready, sorted, or sort of vinegar? Ready to my go, favorite. bro. That's what I'm saying. All right. So that's that's what we're going to be covering now. Dual carriageways, dual carriageway roundabouts, which are controlled by traffic lights. Would you add anything to that? Any questions, any comments, observations? Or yeah. just get going. Well, we'll see when we get there because that's when the questions start flowing when I start freaking out. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's get to it then. But yeah, let's, let's go. We are on the pavement, which we are allowed to be because we've got our marked out parking zones here. So just take care when you come off the pavement onto the main road and follow the road ahead when it's safe to do so, Max. I'll give you directions as we go. Kind of like a driving test. All right. Okay, smashing. When you're ready. When Max is smashing every time, I'm like... Good thing I don't say it. <laughs> it's my comfort word, okay? Let's go smashing. Very nice. Good gentle speed as you're coming down off yeah, the curb as well. Just helps you smooth the ride. Very good. And we have signs here just to show priority, yeah. which is nice. You remember this road, don't you, Max? Yes, I do. We nearly had a confrontation. I'm joking, yes. we actually didn't. We just were well, a bit confusing. Now, sometimes so. people might not see signs, you know. Okay, they might miss it. Yeah, so They're all human, aren't we? So we just... So I give these people a right away, don't I? Very good. I like how Max just looked over to the right. Did you see that? He looked over here to see something. What, what what made you look out the window on the right side well, there, man? There's cars looking for that, that section. Very good. So Thinking about the gap that you were leaving for that oncoming yeah, car, yeah, potentially? Yeah, that's why I stopped at the, the lines. Nice. The way lines. Right, we've got speed change. Very confusing because we got 20 zone here, then 50 and 40 signs. Right. So take the last sign that you see as the speed limit. So 40. Okay. Check over your shoulder for one second, Max, when you feel like it's safe. Now use your mirrors. After the lorry, build your speed rapidly, accelerate hard. Up to 40 miles an hour now, excellent mirrors and signals, well done. And one, when we're joining the main road, you need to keep the speed. Yeah, well done. See, I felt comfortable doing it this time because I'd done it with you already. Does that make sense? No idea what you're talking about, Max. What are you trying to say? No, <laughs> no, obviously. Max did have a trial run after we finished off last. We went through there, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, take the next exit on the left, please. Good mirrors, good signal. Pretty straightforward. We said this was the easy part. Yep. Now I'm going to give you directions at the roundabout, which will be where the traffic lights are. Turn yeah. right, third exit. Have a look at the white line that's separating the lanes. Mm -hmm. Try to be within the line. You can use that toy as a reference point again, or the one on the right. As long as that white line's on that toy or that curb's on that toy, you're in the middle of your lane. You don't only have to use one, you don't have to use both. And maybe you don't like the reference points, you're that type of person that doesn't work for you. Something else might, a feeling, something along those lines. But make sure you stay in between the lines. That's going to be super important now for your dual carriageway roundabout, which is controlled by traffic lights. So I've signaled now so people know that. I'm Very going good. Roughly five car lengths before the junction, yeah. we would signal. And then what lane will you join when you enter onto the so roundabout? I'll join the third lane. Then okay. I'll try to work into the second lane. Is that the far right lane? The far right lane. Okay. Yes. I should have just stayed in the second lane. You mean the one on your left? Yeah. It's a possibility. You could make your way into that lane. If that's something that you wanted to do initially, make sure you check the mirrors, see if it's safe, and so that's what something I, you can do. What I indicate for, for it now. Very it's good. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Why Why do you think that's a good idea? There's an indication that we're moving into the second good. lane. Good. Yeah. So it's benefiting people. It's telling them what you want to do. Very good. Very 
very good mirror checking, well done. And you're not losing focus of the traffic in front at the same time, which isn't easy, okay? But then that way you don't get any sudden yeah. surprises with the traffic stopping. So I can move and take, so this, that's the second exit, so this is the exit I want to get. So you're doing a good job, Max, well done. Good commentary from you as well. Good lane discipline, you kept your right lane on the exit, well done, that was nice. Thank you. See, so much, yeah, I kind of just like following the, uh, the driver in front of me for like, like sense of direction. Okay. Because I'm a new driver and I, I kind of, oh gosh, you just wait there, so you dare go anywhere. Very right, good, it wouldn't have been safe for you to stop for that bus because yeah, you've got traffic, traffic behind. Following. Me, yeah. Okay. I'd like you to try and take the next road on the right, okay? It's a bit further down. Um, Bit hard to see this road. I think it's just where this big grey building is on the right, just behind oh, it. Behind the blue car. Mm -hmm. Yes, where the blue car just went. No, just you that the the vehicle. This is the box track you talked about earlier, uh, yeah. which was off camera. Okay, good. So you've got a nice big junction box here in the middle, and you've perfectly positioned, which allows the traffic to flow around you freely. Well done. Good positioning. So as we're sitting here, I'm just kind of looking at the mirrors, just seeing who's around, any motorbikes. Good to be in the know. Very good, well done, seeing that the vehicle is allowing you to pass, and there was no hesitation, you took that immediately. And there's less likely to be any mixed signals, okay? All right, we're going to go do that one more time onto the roundabout, taking the third exit, turning right. Okay, we're approaching the roundabout. Now this side you'll have three lanes on the approach. I'm going to teach you a different method now. Use the middle lane okay. to turn right, third exit. Okay, so we're going to maintain the middle lane. Mm -hmm. So we're starting in the middle lane. Yeah. We follow the middle lane. We've just stayed in the same lane. Yeah. I don't know if you think maybe our opinions would be different. Would a signal benefit? No. Okay, leave the signal. You can see this is the lane that we can so that's use. The first exit. Second exit. And now we want to be maybe move into the left hand lane. Very good. If you can come to the far left, oh, okay, Max is going around one more time. As well. Oh, there's that exit there. Sorry, buddy. Mm -hmm. That's my bad. That's right. Just take the next one. No problem. It's important that people know that. As long as you're safe and keep control of the vehicle, look over to your right for me. Just use the mirror. Mm -hmm. See that lorry? Yes. Stay away from it, please. <laughs> okay. Take the next road on the left. It's me waving to the next road on the left. Take the next road on the left. Please. What oh, happened no. on the roundabout, Max? <laughs> I thought I just totally missed the, corner, missed the turn. That so you did. moved into the middle oh, lane. Oh, so I used the, the inside lane up until I needed to move into the left and That's middle lane. Happened, yeah. And then turn, take my turn. Yeah. So, so that was your first attempt. That's your standard textbook way of doing a right turn on a roundabout. Right lane, join right lane. Come through towards the exit before the exit that you want. So okay. we're taking the third exit. So once you reach the second exit, mirror signal, and do exactly okay. like you said, move into the middle lane or the left lane, 
depending on how wide the roundabout is, signaling and you're exiting the roundabout. Multi-lane roundabout, maybe you can use a different lane to turn right, yeah. which is what we did on the second attempt. There's so much confusion. Room, <laughs> you can in, tell I missed like yeah. six left-hand turns after that because I was so confused about that one roundabout. Yes, and this is normal. So this is something that will happen to everybody. You're now occupied with what's yeah. previously happened. This can distract us from what well, you're doing. You know, this is the, the purpose of, of all of this. It's mm-hmm. like finding the mistakes of a new learner, mm-hmm. putting it in front of the person that wants to learn and see what mm-hmm. they're up against. Yeah. So, and that helps people learn So, of course, drive. like um, some people... May just want to jump in and do it, but like if you've got a little bit extra time to watch these videos, just to like mm-hmm. get yourself prepared, like it's the best bit of information I can I can literally give you. Like, be prepared mm-hmm. in any form of way, mm-hmm. and then you'll track on and, you, and you'll enjoy it. Like I, I'm enjoying this so much. I love doing Good. this. Do you know what I mean? Like right. it's. It's, it's nerve-wracking, but once you've done it, I feel it's, it's such a good accomplishment just knowing that you've completed your first roundabout or like when we done, when you put me under the pressure with that, the UK's biggest roundabout, and I was like, oh my God, I'm never doing this. But then Scott eased me and it's like, just do it, you'll be fine. And I've done it. And you did it first time. First time without yeah. any... Did it perfectly. Done it better than i just done the one there. 